the goal of this study is to try to understand how animals decide to move in groups. For example, you can have schooling fish that move in line together. So we don't understand very well how they do it. In order to really understand how they do it, we do it with mathematics, trying to explain in detail how the animals decide and learn together. But in order to start to do the models, we need good data sets. And for good data, good data sets, we need to know which animal is which. And that's what we are uh, solving now. For the particular question of trying to see which animal is which in a particular experiment, the state of the art when we started was that it was not possible to do. Uh, there were many mistakes in trying to track animals and what we offered uh, was a way of tracking the animals with no mistakes. When we started, convolutional neural networks were not much used and for sure not for tracking, so deep learning was not that much used. Uh, so for, for this, we tried to realize a software that for, for sure was novel, that allowed new things, of course based on the previous work in the lab, but that was also uh, aimed also at giving everybody the possibilities to use deep learning. When you have 100 fish that they all look the same, for a person it's very difficult to distinguish them by eye. And that's why artificial intelligence techniques, like the ones we use for the tracking system, help us to identify the fish. In particular, we use convolutional neural networks. One of them distinguishes when animals are touching or crossing from when animals are separated. And once we have the animals uh, identified as they are separated and not touching with anyone else, we can use a second neural network that uh, classifies or gives an identity to the images of these individual animals. ID Tracker is available to the public, both with a graphic user interface that should allow everybody to interact with the software and use it to track their own videos, but also the code is open source and everybody can contribute or fork the repository and develop its own, its own version of ID Tracker. There is a direct impact for people looking at how animals interact in groups, because now they have the opportunity to have very good data sets. In the near future, I'm already thinking on using this tracking system to study collective behavior. We are interested on how the information is transferred in a group and because we can distinguish different animals, we can have animals in the group that have some information, animals that don't have that information. And when we mix them, we can understand how the other animals are using the dynamics of the movements of these animals to, for example, go to a source of light where they might find food. Uh, so that's one of the projects that I will do next.